What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today we're kicking it old school. We're going to do an unboxing slash review of this 2021 Orbea Rallon M20. To give you some background, this bike was purchased by Z. Z is the same fellow who previously owned the Orbea Occam featured on my channel in the past. Orbea was able to create brand loyalty with him as you can see, so his next bike would be the Occam's bigger and burlier brother, the Rayon. Orbea went above and beyond with the frame protection here, as I felt that I was removing foam and tape for a small eternity. If you see anything in this video that you just have to own, including the bike itself, look in the description below, I'll leave links for everything. The assembly went very smoothly, and I have no particular gripes to report. That's a good thing. For pedals, Z went with the orange 1UP composites to match all the other orange equipment specced on the bike. The equipped SLX drivetrain ships effortlessly right out of the package. I'm always thoroughly impressed by Shimano drivetrains, both visually and in terms of performance. The Fox 38 came pressurized, so I let some air out to compensate for the owner's weight. This fork is shockingly beefy in person, and I'm sure the rigidity on trail is phenomenal. The DPX2, although pressurized, did need a little more air as a baseline tune to work off of. Although I'm a huge fan of the DPX2, I was a little surprised to not see an X2 here, considering the Fox 38 up front, but it's not a deal killer. The Shimano Dior brakes at first seemed to need a bleed, but a little reach adjust brought out the strong performance I know and expect from Shimano. These brakes are four pot and that's pretty awesome. The combination of Maxxis tires and DT Swiss wheels made for an easy tubeless conversion. I was able to seat the beads with a floor pump. This is a testament to the precision both brands use in their designs. The hubs by DT Swiss roll incredibly smooth and reliably. The rear hub has more than satisfactory engagement for being a stock wheel, and it sings a very aggressive note when free spinning. No, they're not carbon, and they don't boast triple digit PoE, but these wheels will run forever. Overall, I'm very impressed by Orbea's take on the all-mountain enduro category with their Rayon. It's a type of bike that has solid, no compromise spec that will do its job time and time again, providing an enjoyable and memorable experience for its owner. Hopefully soon, I'll get to borrow this bike for a trail review and give you my take on how it rides. Thanks for watching, and make sure to like this video and subscribe for more. Remember, the ride is a cure, and I'll see you later.